So yeah, it'll cut really thin metal. <laughs> Why does that matter? What would you ever use that for? A few months ago, I saw Chad's custom creations. Uh, he put up a video on the X tool and it cut metal. And I'm sure that like a lot of other people out there were the same as me being like, oh, that's awesome but why would you wanna do that? <laughs> the metal is so thin, obviously as you're cutting it, the metal gets deformed. Like, what are you realistically going to be using that for? And my answer, which might be different than yours, would be metal inlays. So instead of epoxy filling things, you would be able to put in metal in a very accurate way. So like American flags for the stars or making small metal ornaments, things like that. That's what I'm gonna be using mine for. This video is an introduction into the fact that I have one. No, my channel is not about to turn into a laser channel by any means, but I will be using that as a supplemental tool for my CNC projects and moving forward in the future. And I know that I will be getting a lot of questions based around this laser. So I figured I might as well try and knock out as many of these questions right now, all at once in a single video so that if somebody's curious, they can go back and watch this video. So this is the JTEC 24 watt laser. JTEC also offers a seven watt, 14 watt, and now the 24 watt. The 24 watt is four seven watt diodes stacked together. And I'm assuming there's just a small amount of loss in wattage when you do that stacking process. I don't know what that looks like, but it is advertised at 24 watts and they've actually measured it at 25 and a half watts. So that is the actual output of this laser. If you're looking at very cheap diode lasers, you might notice that they say that their wattage is, you know, hundred watts or whatever. That is input, that is not output this is a true 24 watt laser, a little bit more of output that you're getting. Now, I'm not going to go back and shoot the exact same content that they already did. You can see here, it's cutting through different types of materials and thicknesses. Those are the feeds, those are the speeds. It is a cutting machine. If you're looking at the three different lasers that they are offering, one is good for engraving, it's gonna be cheaper. One is good for engraving and cutting, that's gonna be your good middle ground. And then you've got this, this is meant purely for cutting. And that's what I want for my machine specifically is to be able to cut things out. I don't do a ton of customization. I do a lot of batching. So when I batch things, I'm not really worried about putting somebody's last name on it. I am more worried about, can it cut this quickly? Uh, time is of the essence and you would hope to think spending this amount of money on a laser, it's over $1,200, that you would be getting something that is completely robust. And I think that this proves it. Now, I just spent some time, I raised up the laser modules so you can see actually where the beam focus is and then it kind of like umbrellas out a little bit towards the bottom where it is not as focused you're going to get the most cutting power up here closer to the top and that's why it comes with those little spacer blocks so you can appropriately space it off of your material and you can get the tightest beam possible now i just raised it up on my infinity and i just ran a bunch of different materials through it it is the 0.004 inch thick steel and it cuts through it really, really well. I did a speed test on it and from what I saw, the best edge quality that I got was at about 80% power in two inches per minute. Um, that's at least what worked out for me. Uh, there is a little bit of variation that you can fine tune with your laser on the actual controller itself. So jump into Lightburn, grab one of those little like feed test things and then go ahead and run that on the material that you're running and that will show you the best way that you can do things for for your individual laser. Uh, if you want the little test thing that I did, I will have the uh, G code. It is meant for Onefinity machines uh, and it'll start where you have your laser. I'll have that for free on my website. See and see you later. We got hats now. <laughs> If you want a hat, we got hats. Did a bunch of different materials. Uh, you can see here I am holding walnut. This is about a quarter of an inch thick uh, solid walnut and I just run it under there. Uh, it probably would have cut a whole lot faster if my hands weren't as shaky. It was wasting a lot of energy on that cut, but I really just wanted to see what it would do just hand holding it. One of the nice things about having a Infinity and having this laser in particular is that they are kind of plug and play. They work very, very well together. I didn't really have to learn anything about the machine and the laser. The only thing that I had to learn was light burn. Um, I jumped into Lightburn. It is a one-time fee, but if you've been around lasers at all, you know it's the software to use. Um, and the only thing that I've really used that to cut is the test pieces yet. That's really why I wanted this machine. I really like being able to mix up different materials in my projects. And the truth is, if you are able to go out and spend money and have a tool that the normal person around you does not have, that gives you the competitive advantage and paired with a little bit of creativity, you can create a product that no one else can create in your general area and you can put those in stores which sells way better than anybody else's. So 
When you're looking at a tool like this, yes, it is extremely powerful. Yes, they are extremely dangerous, but it might open up some doors that your CNC router might not have been able to go through. Bit, even an eighth inch bit, there's a small radius, but with this laser, it is so, so small that you're able to get tolerances that are much, much more fine, especially when you're looking to do things like box joints. Uh, this is going to be a cutting machine and be able to batch out products like that. Obviously, it's powerful. Obviously, it's gonna cut stuff. Obviously, it's going to be dangerous. It has safety features built into it that at first, when I got the laser, I thought it was broken. There's a little BB in there that actually makes it so when the laser is off kilter, it won't fire which is a very good thing. I don't wear these little laser goggles like in jest or like memeing around. You have to wear them when you're using this machine. I took off the little base plate of the machine where it does have this like protective acrylic or whatever. I took it off so that I could film. If you see a blue laser, that's a bad thing. <laughs> when you're looking through these, the laser is orange and that means it's safe. But if you're seeing blue, that, that could end up being very bad for you. If you are seeing smoke that's coming off of it that's yellow or green, that is a very bad thing. You need to immediately leave your shop, <laughs> like immediately. When I get something new, my first question is how am I going to hurt myself with this. I can build out how I will use something as long as I know how I'm going to get hurt by it and that is how you get hurt by this. You don't look at it when it's blue and if the smoke is green or yellow, get out of the room. <laughs> like, simple as that. I know that it looks a little bit weird when people get sent stuff for free and then they're reviewing it. Um, I don't care if you buy this laser at all. I make no money if you buy this laser. It was sent to me, they didn't even ask me to make a video. The only reason I'm making this video is because I know that in future videos when I'm using it or showing it for five seconds, that I'm gonna get a bunch of questions out of it. So. So that's why I'm making this video so that I can send people back and say, hey, this video is going to answer a bunch of your questions about this specific laser that I'm using. Right now I have over a dozen diode lasers sitting in my inbox that people want to send me. That They require me to make an eight minute long video. They require the title to have the exact name of the diode laser that's going in there. They offer me a fee that they'll give me or an affiliate thing. If you're out there and you're trying to figure out how much they will offer you, three to five hundred dollars, that is how much they'll offer a YouTuber to create a video about them and then on top of that there's normally an affiliate marketing tie-in deal that goes anywhere from 5% all the way up to 8% of the sale that's generated. JTEC doesn't do any of that. They didn't ask me to do any of this. I like this laser. It's made in America but this is my first test run. I don't know. It is a supplemental tool for my CNC router to be able to create hopefully some cool projects in the future. And if you're somebody out there who has both a CNC router as well as a CNC laser, hopefully this will be able to make some cool projects that you can make too that, I don't know, you use both of those tools on. So all of that to say, I've got a laser. It's made by JTEC. It's 24 watts. It's seamless with the Winfinity. If you're looking at it, the build quality is really good. It's got a lot of safety features on it. I like it. It sounds like this. Now we turn it off. And, uh, yep. Sounds like a tornado siren is going off. It's not even 10% as loud as when the router is running, so you kind of get used to it. And it's a nice little indicator that the laser is ready to fire. Um, I love that there's a trigger on it where I can just turn it on and then I can control it with my little Xbox controller through on the One Infinity. That was just a ton of fun. It's very dangerous and you shouldn't do that, but it was a ton of fun. If you're interested in setting up this machine, you're like, Hamilton, you didn't tell us a single thing about setting up. There's very good videos on that. I will have all those linked down below because those are the videos that I followed to set mine up. If you have more questions, there is a section dedicated on the Onefinity forum to the JTEC laser where people who are way smarter than I use this thing all the time and they will be able to answer any kind of technical questions that you have. I will also have that link down below. And on cnclater.com, you can buy three files, get one free, and I will CNC y'all later. Bye.